UP844, UP4014, Steam Shop Update, July 2015. The last several months have seen a lot of activity in the Steam Shop here in Cheyenne. Got a lot of material and equipment requisitions underway, some of which we'll talk about in this recent update. Currently we're working on the numerous stay bolt caps and sleeves that you see before us. A variety of different stay bolt sleeve and cap designs, such as the style KW, the style WR up on top, and a style FRW that you see here designed to allow piping and cab arrangements and other parts of the locomotive to fit closely against the wrapper in the barrel of the boiler. As we begin working on the stay bolt caps, it's necessary for us to condition the heavily corroded sleeve. In some cases that will require complete removal and replacement. In other areas we can simply just clean the thread surfaces up once the thread surfaces are known to be in good condition, then we address the gasket seating surface, and that involves a variety of different tools in order to make that work. There's a heavy layer of corrosion and oxidation on that seating surface, and in order to make that work without dulling our cutter, we designed a special style of stone that was epoxied to a custom-made tool that fits within the, the tool arrangement. That then could be operated against this corrosion surface and remove that hard surface. And then we apply the cutter. And the cutter itself then can perform its work and cut the seating surface very accurately to the required dimension, which provides a very good gasket seating surface for the stay bolt cap. Once this process is done, thread conditioner is applied and the cap is torqued to specification. As we continue to work on this process, we evaluate all of the surfaces of the boiler to determine that they can withstand the pressure and they're suitable for service. That requires a lot of analysis and calculation. In some areas, it will require weld buildup and patching. We have some areas on the barrel of the boiler uh, that were corroded up near the dome and other areas that we'll work on. We've also been heavily involved in obtaining a variety of different components, not only for the 844, but we're also building up for the 4014 project. We have all the coil springs on hand that we've already purchased, and we've got stay bolt material, rivet, firebox material, all types of other materials that are in the pipeline soon to be arriving in the steam shop. Thank you very much for watching.